Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. It's Afro Thunder from chat. Afro Thunder? Yes. Hey, it's been a while. Yeah. I was wondering if you knew of any KVMs with USB support. There are KVMs with USB support out there in terms of which brand. Uh, I don't have a, a choice one way or another, but I'd imagine they're pretty competitive. The thing with KVMs is you try to get as much as you can afford in, in a KVM. Yeah. You know, you're looking for, I'm assuming you have like keyboard that's USB or a mouse that's, yeah. that's USB. Uh, I've seen them out there, certainly. I've never used a physical KVM before. I've thought about it, but I know people have complained about the latency that exists uh, between switching from one computer to another. Another thing to keep in mind when you get a KVM is also what kind of video it supports. So if it's VGA versus DVI, it's going to run you more, uh, but if you can, uh, you, if you found something that supported USB, well, this would be the, the ultimate USB, um, DVI, VGA, so that you're you're pretty much. I don't think they support any of them. Support uh, what is it? Display port yet? Uh, I'm sure that's going to come. But it took forever for the KVMs to start shipping with DVI support. Um, so yeah, they do exist. Uh, I don't have any pricing on them, but uh, I don't know if anybody in the community's got any recommendations for KVMs that have the USB brand or um, you know really. You know where you buy a KVM from on, on a good price. So uh, where do you or in what capacity do you plan on using the KVM? If I can ask. Um, uh, to switch between my desktop and my notebook. What are the what's the operating systems that you're running? Um, they're both XP. Uh, have you thought about using uh, Win? What is it? Uh, oh, KTech knew what it was. Win for. Win for VNC, Win to VNC. Hang on, not Synergy. Synergy was horrible to configure. Win to, I think it's called something called Win to VNC, was the name of it. And there's two versions available. Um, there is, let me see if I can find it. There's a couple of versions. I think the one you want is at Win to VNC. There's the newer one. If I can find this one, one four one. Give me a second here, buddy. But this will save you from buying a hardware. We featured this in a video a while ago, but you're talking about you know, a USB KVM, uh, okay. since I don't have any direct experience with them. Um, do a Google for Win number two VNC. Um, I know there's one at win2vnc.sourceforge.net or sf.net, um, but I don't know if this is the older one or the newer one. Because there was two versions available, and the, the, the one that I originally found was kind of buggy, but the newer version, just check on dates, but that is the name of the program that you're looking for. So win to VNC? Yeah, it's one word. Um, I don't know how well it works between, how did I, I think I actually had it configured to work, I had win to VNC running on my Windows machine, and then I had Mac OS X Leopard running, and I was able to switch seamlessly between the two because it, uh, Mac OS X supports VNC right out of the box. There's, uh, there's nothing that you have to install. That's what I like about it. Um, but I'd try that, number one, because it's free, uh, potentially open source. And uh, the, uh, you know, if, if it does the trick, well, then you, you've saved yourself from some hardware and uh, possibly some other uh, levels of difficulty. Some people recommend Synergy, but when I tried to configure Synergy, it was kind of a nightmare. Uh, admittedly. Now, if you're using a Mac, there is another program that I would recommend. If it's if you have all Mac machines, there is a preference pane called Teleport. Now, you don't use a Mac, Afro Thunder, oh. but uh, for those of you running a Mac, that is the uh, the one you want. So, anyway, whatever you get, you wind up with, uh, let me know. All right. If you do end up going with a hardware switch, or if Win2VNC does the trick for you. Well, uh, I'll check it out. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah.